All right, guys, so let me show you what we're going to be doing today, which is to start working on a mobile app that I want to release. This app is going to be releasing for iOS, and it's going to allow you to basically toggle between different effects. I, I thought VFX and AI Foundation was really cool, so I was going to go ahead and release a new app and, and just show you how, you know, the power of it. And I'm going to walk you through what I'm doing today. So what I'm doing today is first I want to show you how it works. And this is, you know, a very rough prototype. There's not a lot in it, but you can see that, you know, it has the plane detection, it has particles. These are some placeholders. I'm going to be changing them. And then basically if you change the particle effect, and I'm trying to walk around because it's, they're really, really large, and that's something that I need to that I need to improve. But you can see how I can look through the tunnel and particle are spawning. There's hundreds of particles. I can move it around. And at this point, I can, you'll see that I'm going to be selecting a, a different effect. So I'm just pulling the effects panel. This is a different effect. It's just a variation of the other me meteor that I created. Just a little bit shorter. The force is not as, as big. And then this one is just, you know, showing, showing snowflakes. So what I'm going to be doing today is showing you what I, what I have so far and what I'm, what I'm planning to do. So if we look at the effect that I'm looking at right now, the reason why I have it uh, that way is because I'm going to be taking a screenshot and I'm going to show you the reason why I'm doing that. If I take, if I look at the camera and I'm going to hold the command shift F, basically I'm going to bring it into place. The reason why I'm doing that is because I'm going to be taking a screenshots of all of these ones and then basically making them a button so they're easier to see. And then I'm also going to be, let's go ahead and toggle and remove this for now so that I can see the, the effect. And also, in fact, what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and get rid of the entire screen space UI. That way I can focus on this. And then I'm just going to take a screenshot of this. And then I've been putting them in Photoshop and then taking a screenshot, creating a sprite, because we're going to be adding them to the UI. So I'm just going to walk you through what I'm doing on, on this one. So this is the one that I already have, and I'll show you that in a minute. And then what I'll do is I'll just drag this and drop it. And I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger, something like that. It doesn't need to be perfect. And then this is going to be effect two. And effect one I'm going to be getting rid of because this is this was created by somebody else. So I don't want to use that. For now, I'm just going to leave it. But just know that that's going to go away. And then I think what I'll do in Photoshop, I'll just create a, I'll just go ahead and change the background to black so that we have, you know, if we have missing edges, we don't we don't run into the problem that we just had. Otherwise, you're gonna see something like this. Okay, so that that works. And then what I'll do is let me go ahead and save this out. This one is gonna be effects, and and I could create a sprite. And now that I'm thinking about, it, I think a sprite will make more sense for for something like this. I think for now, let's leave it like this, and then we'll do we'll do a sprite uh, later, and then show you how that is done. So on this one, I'm just gonna do effect number two, and then I'll just get rid of this one because this was the one that we had before. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and go back into Unity, and I'm going to go into my texture folder where I added the sprite, and this one, this one is gonna be a sprite to the NUI, and I'm gonna just change the settings and hit apply. So now we have the two sprites. One of them is this one. I can actually make it bigger so you can see it, and then this one is the other one. So now if we go back into my screen space transparent, this is what I started to do. I wanted to, you know, start taking screenshots of every effect that I do, and then the user is gonna have access to, to changing them. So I'm gonna change this to the phone that I have, which is going to be the iPhone XS portrait. That way we can see the whole thing. And then I'm gonna go into 2D. Let me just go ahead and go into the first effect. So this is the first one. Second effect is going to be these, and these are just placeholders as of now. This one, I'm going to change the image name, and it's going to be the the number two. And we can also add different names for now. Let's just keep it effect one, effect two. I think that's fine. And OK, so effect one, effect two. And then I can do, I'll just do one more, and then I'll show you some of the code so that you know what I'm doing. And then the last one, let's go ahead and pick one from my prefabs effects folder. And I have stars. I have. Let's go ahead and select the fire. I think the fire, it's really cool. And let's go ahead and look and see how that one looks like. 
And this one I wanted to do just to see how it would look by having fire in the, you know, in the ground. I know that this doesn't look like real fire, but I really am a fan of pixels and, and voxels. So this just gives it a really, a really cool look. So we're just going to do this one. And then what I'll do here is let me go ahead and select my camera. Again, my command shift F. And then we're going to look and see how it looks on this view. I'm also going to get just toggle the screen space so we can see everything. And then let's go back to free aspect. And I think I need to, I need to go back a little bit more because I think it's too big. Let's do something like that. Select my camera and select my shift command F again. There we go. I think something like that works. You can just do that. Let's go back into Photoshop and I'm going to be doing just what we did before. Wait for the screenshot and then paste it in place there. And then this is similar to what I did when I did my game Cubix. I, I was using Photoshop and then creating sprites with Photoshop. So, so I'm used to doing going through this process. And I'm just going to get rid of that one. This one is going to be number three. Just save it as. Let's just call it number three here. Perfect. And I'm going to have for the app, I'm going to have about 20 different effects so that you guys can try it. And there is some things that I still need to change in the app, but we'll go through that process. All right. So I have that. And so we don't need this. And I'm going to toggle my screen space. And let me go into my textures. Make sure that I select it as a sprite. And I'm going to go here, make it a sprite. Scroll down, hit apply. And, and there are some settings that we could tweak later for now. I think I think this is fine. And I just want to see it all working. And then we can go ahead and optimize it. It's not, it's not a good idea to optimize when you're starting because otherwise you're not going to pro you're gonna, you're not gonna make any progress. And then let's go ahead and get rid of these other ones. Okay, so now we have that. And then here I'm just going to select my iPhone XS, go back to that. And then let's just go ahead and change the texture here. And this one is going to be number three. So I'm just going to change it to number three. And there we go. So we have our effect one, effect two, and effect three. And what I'm going to do also is I'm just going to just align it a little bit better so that they are all about the same. And then this is just a title. I think the title and actually all these effects I'm going to move down because the last time I tried it was really hard to see everything. So I can just do that. And the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do, let's go ahead and change this to effects selected, all capital letters. It's just going to make it look better. And then something like, I think something like that works. All right. And then I'm going to move these ones down just a tiny bit more. All right. So we have, we have, and I think I have a little bit of a gap here. I think, I think that's fine. I'm not going to be picky, even though I, <laughs> I am picky. Okay. So I think that works. All right. So the, the next thing that I want to do is I need to go back into my AR session origin. And I'm also going to remove these, the VFX graph node editor. Otherwise it's going to be really hard to see. And then, okay. And then what I have here is I add a couple of components. I have some components that are for the effects. And you can see that this is a class that is serializable. It has a name and it has a place prefab. So what I'm going to do for this, I'm going to, I'm going to actually remove everything that I did because I want to start from scratch. We have three, so we're going to do change this to three. And then I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing with this. So I have a name and also, uh, so this is going to be what I, what I thought about doing this is this was going to be for, you know, finding the effects in the, the effects in the resource folder and loading them dynamically. And I, I think I'm going to be changing how that works. For now, what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and go into place prefabs. And I know that this one, it's going to be default. So I'm going to change, I should probably change the name so they make more sense, but let's just leave it like that. And the next one, it's going to be this one. This is, I know this one is portal, the portal number one. And then this one is going to be fire. So let's go ahead and select fire there. And then what I'm going to do the name for is let's go ahead and give it a friendly name. So this could be, I don't know, this could be a black hole, a black hole effect. Effect. And we can make this one, it's going to be a meteor meteor effect and this last one could be the fire fire effect just give it give it friendly names and i know by changing this i'm gonna have to change the code a little bit but that's fine i think we we can ma we can manage that 
And then right now I just have three buttons. I need to get rid of the other two. So let's go ahead and bind these ones just to make sure everything is bind correctly. That's one. This one is going to be two. And let me undo that. This one is going to be two here. And then this one is going to be for number three. And I think everything else is, is fine. Now let me go ahead and go back into that code and let's get, make some changes here because I know that I'm going to have to make some changes. So this is the class that I show you. I'm just using a, a, a POCO which has a name and also this should actually be a friendly name. That's what I'm going to be using that for. So why don't we just change that? This is going to be friendly name. And these are two fields. And let's go back into here. I know that this is going to break the inspector. So let's go ahead and go back to Unity. And it's going to, yep, it looks like our, our names are gone. That's OK. So we can just say black hole effect. This one is going to be the, actually, I call this one the meteor effect. And then lastly, this is going to be fire effect. Awesome. So that works. And this works. So that's what that is for. And let me just close out of this. And if I sound weird, it's because I'm, I'm getting a cold, so I apologize about that. And hopefully, I'll feel better in, in the next, you know, in the next few days. And okay, so this is our array that I'm using based on this, and I show you what that was in the inspector. I have a selected text, the toggle button, toggle, toggle effect panel that I can show and hide if I wanted to, and also the effect that is selected. And right now, I only have three buttons, so let's just go ahead and just have those three. And then I'm going to just remove these ones. So I know that this, the second effect that gets called, it's going to be the, the meteor. So it's actually called portal one. And then this one is going to be fire. That's the third one. So that's what these are for. I'm using lambdas in here and assigning those to the on-click listener. And I know what they're called. So that's where they're here. And then this is just to toggle the effects panel. And what I'm going to do here is let's go ahead and change this to capitals. I just think it, it looks better when I do that. And then this one is going to be hide effects. Perfect. And then I'm also going to change this to selected effect. And then in here, I'm just going to use friendly name. And let me make sure that, I, that, I, that I'm doing this right. So what I'm going to do here, instead of using the friendly name, I'm just going to use the prefab. But I'm going to use the prefab name when I'm doing a, a lookup. Because I know that the prefabs names are going to be called this, not the friendly name. Friendly name is just going to be used to basically for display purposes. So then I'm just going to say friendly name. And that's how I'm going to know what name to display. And I think that's everything that I need to do here. And then, you know, what I'm doing on, on the other areas, this is just ray casting so that I know when to spawn an object. And then this is just to, you know, trying to make sure that I'm getting at the correct position. Also, either with my mouse or with touch. With touch events so that's basically everything that i that i that i'm doing here i'm also destroying the object that i currently have just so that when i spawn a new one the the previous object is not there so that's what i'm doing this and that should be everything that i that i wanted to show you let me go ahead and go back here we will start doing a build and then i can show you how this new way new implementation looks on the device just clear these errors and then make sure that I have everything. Okay, so these are all assigned. Just gonna double check everything before we build it. Everything is assigned correctly here. And perfect. And then this effects panel, we're not gonna show it by default. It's only gonna be shown when the user clicks on the toggle button. So we're just gonna say show. Remember that we make this capital, so we're just gonna say show effects. It's gonna be a button, we can make it pretty after and okay i keep saying after and that's because i try to make it as mvp as we can and then we can do another iteration where we improve this okay so i think i think that's everything that i need and let me go back into build settings and then i'm just gonna hit build perfect and then we're just gonna replace the vfx example that i have already and then hit a pen replace and i'm gonna show you how it looks on my device as soon as it's done building all right, guys, so I got this running on my device, and I want to show you the results. So let me go ahead and open it up. You can see that I can now see the thumbnails. The UI looks a lot better. And also change the, basically, the effect that I got selected. Let me go ahead and go back into when it says low. So this one has the, the placeholder effect, and then I'm changing it to the black hole. 
and you can see that as soon as I detect the planes and I select uh, an area on the plane I can change the effect now I'm selecting the other effect and I'm also experimenting with the rotation this one is looking at the camera so that's why when I'm when I'm touching you it looks like you're in a tunnel which actually gives it a really cool look and then lastly it's the another effect I'll be toggling here which is effect 3 which is you know the fire effect that I show you before so that's everything that I wanted to show you guys if you have any questions please let me know